This is Diana with StampingWithDi.com, and I want to welcome you to this week's Whatcha Making Wednesdays. It is July the 21st, 2021, and I'm going to share this super cute, this is the July paper pumpkin, and it's called The Adventure Begins, and look at the cute polka dotted box. I love when they do something fun with the boxes. Even if you don't do anything with the box, you know, afterwards, sometimes you just keep the stuff in it. Um, I've been known to recycle them. I've been known to put them in my cupboard and, and um, use them later. But I love when there's um, something cute done to the box. So let me make sure I'm in the right spot looks good <clears throat> me and my silly throat I swear it's like um Kermit Kermit the frog in my throat all right good <clears throat> I just want to share my post make sure I'm in the right spot and then we can get started all right so I had um, a lot of fun with this one and I can hardly wait um I asked up and up because I always forget because I don't always want to refill, but this one I definitely want to refill for. And they told me July the 26th, so if there's any leftover and you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, um, and if they have any, July 26th is when they will offer the refill kits. And a refill is just basically the card supplies. Um, you don't get the stamps, and um, that way if you want to just make more of the cards, with, with the stamps you got in your kit, you can, and they're super cute. So I'm gonna show you um, a couple, the way they're supposed to be done, and then I have some fun alternatives to share with you. So make sure um, you you hang out for the whole video so you don't miss those. And hey, Bonnie, hey, Ann, Nancy, welcome, welcome. And if you are new to my channel, please say hi. Let me know where you're from. Please subscribe so you don't miss any new ones. My name is Diana Gibbs, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. <clears throat> and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. And if you don't have a demonstrator in the United States that you're working with, I would love um, to be your demonstrator. If you um, need a catalog, let me know. And um, I want to welcome you. So I, I love seeing new people. I love seeing regular people too. But I love seeing a new name pop up on there. Hey Jackie. And um, and I love how small a world it is too, right? So, um, so let me um, turn the phone around and we will get started with today's Whatcha Making Wednesday. Oh, Eileen Kingman. <clears throat> so I'm Arizona. I, I am horrible in regards to knowing where places are because I just stay in my bubble. Even before COVID, I didn't stray too far from my bubble. Like I don't even drive to the airport. So, um, so I'm not exactly sure where Kingman is, but I welcome you to my channel. Okay, so I already talked about the cute little polka dotted box. Before we get started, I want to remind you that this is the host code for July. If you're placing an order, please use that code if you are ordering under 150 before tax and shipping. And some people will go 150, that's a lot. Yeah, it is, but it doesn't really take long to um, get up to that, right? Also, if you want your own host code, if you have friends that like to order, you know you're gonna order a few times a month, you can ask me for your own a private host code. It's only good for 30 days. And what that happens is, every time you order, in the 30 days time, you use your code, all those orders, um, they ship to you individually, but they total together so that in 30 days, if you have spent 150, you could have ordered three different times, you will get hostess benefits. So um, I don't always talk about that, and I probably should. So make sure if you have any questions, you um, let me know. If you do, you I have to make your host code for you before you start 
ordering. You can't place your um, online order with me and close it and then go, oh, I want a host code, because then it's too late, because a host code must be made first. Okay, so also, the Over the Border with Diane Marcy Virtual Fall Social registrations have been going on. They are um, coming in daily, and we are so excited. So if you live in America, you will register with me. If you live in Canada, you will register with Marcy. And then, then we do it over Zoom. We have a um, private Facebook group. And don't worry if you um, can't, if you're busy that day, no worries. You can always watch the video later and stamp at your leisure. Okay, so let's get on to why you're here, right? The fun of paper pumpkin. All right, so I have stuff. I just kind of stuck a few things in here because, I, like I said, I have been playing with it. And it is super fun. Let me get that box down. All right. Now, it came with a garden green spot. And I usually don't use these. Hi, Anna. Um, I usually don't use these. And um, I usually just grab my big pad. So let me show you also the colors that this kit coordinates with. So garden green, Bermuda Bay, granny apple green. Aren't those pretty just like that? I mean, well, oh, I love those colors together. So those are the actual colors that I used on my projects today, but it also coordinates with these other colors. So we have early espresso, flirty flamingo, crushed curry, night of navy, and mango melody. So those colors also coordinate with the kit. I want to see if I put all my little things. Oh, look, my crushed curry, I did not. So look at, so see how on the back of the ink pads, that's where this group, the singing came from, or the writing, and then there's um, different languages. But, and I've showed this before, but in case you're new, also on the very bottom label is just a plain one. It's just the color, and then I'll throw this away. Now it's meant to go in this little crook here. It's meant to go right in here. So when you have the pad open, you can tell what color it is because sometimes just by looking at that, that can be confusing if you have a few colors open. But what I do is I put it on the outside. It still is the same purpose. You still see it, but it's a lot easier to stick it there on the pad than into that little hole. Oh, so see this one. I already did, so it's here. So this is really where it's in, intended to be, but just put it on the outside. All right, so these are the colors that it coordinates with. All right, but like I said, these are the three that I used today. Now this kit, I'm, I was so excited when I opened it up because it has pretty, pretty envelopes. Last month's kit, the envelopes were plain. And I'm trying to think, I don't know if we've ever had plain envelopes before. So I was excited that there was um, decorative envelopes because not only can you use them as an envelope, they're great to cut. And so you can use it for like actual like paper. All right, so I'm gonna set those aside. Now I did stamp some of my greetings. So this is with the um, Garden Green and the, Berm the Bermuda Bay. All right, we also got some cute little self-adhesive um, sequins. So we have those. And then the cute stamp set. Oh, I love it and I love the font. This tree, I'll show you when I'm showing my alternatives. I love this tree. Oh my gosh. All right, so let me pull this out. So you can tell I've been like working at it. So what I need to do is I need to stamp this design here on to here but this is a smaller tree so we're just going to move it up a little bit so we have room for our greeting on the bottom so i'm just going to use my garden green and stamp all the little um, pine things from the pine tree so that's just going to go right there so it's decorating the tree but it's avoiding the banner right down here where you're gonna put your saying. So what saying do I wanna put? 
let's see, here are the directions. I love that now the directions are all color coordinated, so they're not black and white anymore. And you just, I mean, it's easier than putting an Ikea thing together, for sure. So here is the directions. We still have the awesome ruler on the side. I love that. We don't have any twine this time, but when we have twine or ribbon, it will say cut to whatever inches, and your, your ruler is right there, so you don't even have to worry about digging a ruler out of your drawer. All right, so this one is this one right here. So the Dream Big Aim High. And do I want to use that saying? Or do I want to use a different one? Let's see. I like the world awaits you. I don't know why, but I like that one. All right, so I have my The World Awaits You, and it should be in garden green, but I'm going to switch it out, and I'm going to use Bermuda Bay, because I have, this is right here, is like a light Bermuda Bay, that tree, but I've got my garden green um, spines, or whatever you call them, from, from the pine, so I want to coordinate by using my Bermuda Bay. So I'm just over here off to the side, inking that up. So it just says, the world awaits you. And like I said, I love this font. Oh, I just love it so much. All right, so let me put that over here. I'm going to set this aside briefly so it can dry, just because the, um, the pumpkin, papers they're not like our whisper white or i mean our basic white or our, our very vanilla they're a different kind of cardstock so i find they take a little bit longer to dry than the regular so usually i get my sayings all the way stamped that's why i have these all ready to go so i stamp all my greetings set them aside to dry and then i assemble the cards so that just helps me not have um, boo-boos with like um, ink smearing or anything like that. All right, so these cards are so fun. They are like a, a trifold card, right? So you've got your, your pretty design on the inside. And then we have this piece here, which is going to fold over. Let me get my bone folder. And like I said, like some of the kits, I don't want a refill. I like that I have them, but I don't necessarily um, need to make any more. But this kit, oh my gosh, was so fun. So look at how I'm just holding this and I'm just bending and I'm pulling the little trees out. There's just a tiny little perforation that's holding that in. And there, we have our little piece out. Now, if you have a um, what you gonna call it blending brush you could even do some blending right use this as a mask so let me um i'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna maybe play with that after okay so we have our pretty little um thingy here and then all right so my world awaits should be dry by now you also need to make sure when you're putting this together where you put your glue dots or your dimensionals or whatever you're using to glue. Just because you've got a big hole, they all have like holes. They all are very similar in putting together. So you don't want to put your um, dimensionals up here and hold, make your card be like glued together. So what I like to do when I have um, any kind of fold. When I do my Zevo cards, I do the same kind of thing. I will lay this down and kind of visualize. So I know when I'm putting this that I can put my dimensionals down on the bottom because that's not going to interfere. Now these are the little dimensionals that came with the kit. They came with dimensionals and glue dots and then the little sequins I showed you. All right, so I'm gonna put those on the bottom there. And then it simply goes down here. And I'm just visually having that be about this same um, distance here as the other side. 
So that's cute. The world awaits you. Now, this tree is a little wonky right here. So what I'll do is I will just take my snips. Come here, paper snips. And I'm gonna cut my dimensionals. And I'm gonna stick one. That looks good, it'll fit. So I'm gonna peel the backing off that. And you can use your, your scissors or your put tool. Just put it on the side there. And I'm gonna just simply lift my tree up and I'm going to stick it in there. So now that tree is held, but it's not gonna be like boingy, right? All right, so I bent it a little bit. There we go. So then it's held, it's not all like wiggly. All right, very good. Then this one's pretty simple. All right, then we're gonna take our little sequins and we're gonna put a few sequins around and I'm just using my scissors, but you could use your pick tool that I used over there. So there's these pretty blue sequins and then these pumpkin-like sequins. They're probably crushed curry. All right, let me put these around. So I'm just putting one, two, three, four, and we need to have uneven, right? Uneven numbers are more pleasing to the eye than even. I love this one, because look at, if you look at this, you've got your moon. When you open it up, you have a moon. And then look, it's like a falling star is shooting in the sky, whether that was meant to happen or not. All right, so let me just see how this works. Now, this is just me going off script. All right, so I'm gonna bring this over here like that. And then do I have a Bermuda Bay? I think I do. Pool party. Let's do pool party. Let me get my pool party pad. All right, so I'm going to use my pool party. So I don't even know if this is gonna work. It just was like, hey, that looks kind of cool when you when you pop that out. All right, so it's gonna go like that. So I'm gonna take my pool party bl blending brush. Hey, Virginia. They are, they are so cute. All right, so I have just got some um, pool party on there. And then, where is my grid sheets? I swear to God, if they're not, hiding every time I do a video. All right, because I always think, oh, you're not gonna need a grid sheet, and then I do. All right, so let's get this here. Only because I wanna take some of this off. When you use the blending brush, you get it, you know, good and inked, but if you immediately go to the card, you're gonna have a circle. So let me show you what I mean. If I immediately go to this card, you've got like this strong circle. So you want to start off of the card so since this is just gonna get wasted, you know, I'm not gonna use this again, it doesn't matter so much. All right, so this is going to get most of the excess. I don't even know if this is gonna work. We're just gonna hope it does. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, so look at, can you see that? Hopefully it shows. It's kind of hard to see on the computer because pool party is pretty faint. But can you see that you've got those tree designs? Very, very faint. All right, so what did I put on the front? So we have the world awaits you. And now I've got these pretty trees back here. And I could even add like one up here too. Let me add one up here. Where's my brush? I'm gonna put this one so it's a little bit darker. So we've got our pretty tree. So it's gonna be a little bit darker than the other one. So hopefully you'll be able to see it. So can you see that? So see, you can see that pretty tree and that's basically just that piece that we popped out of here. All right, so the world awaits you all right, so what other greetings do we have? Well, we have, let's see, let the adventure begin. I want that one. All right, where is my ball? So see, I put 
all my blocks away because I thought, you know what, I'm not going to do much stamping. And then my mind goes, hey, why don't I try this? And this block is too big. That is like a monster block. There we go. That's much better. All right, so let's do Let the Adventure Begin. So we're going to go with the Bermuda, Let the Adventure Begin begin right over top of those faint faint trees so look how cute that is oh my gosh i love it love it love it all right so let me move the pad out of the way because they're just gonna go like you're gonna drop the pet the um card in there all right so here we have the pretty little foldy so we have our the world awaits you so I, this one's pretty you know like it's said to do Except I, you know, did that on the inside. So I love that. You have the snow globe stamp set and dies you might use with some alternative cards. That would be great, Peggy. All right. So here's the one that I just did that. All right. So there's one. Let me put that aside. All right. So then we also have this fun one. Again, you've got stuff that pops out. So this time we have the lantern. So I'm going to be just gentle. So I hold that while I um, poke the stuff out. Because you don't want to bend it. And then we have our little round thing on our lantern. And then you have these two pieces here. So I'm just taking my pip tool. And then I just reach in there and just gently pull them off of there so I don't know who designed this one but it is so so cute and it's and it's not like it's just a boy card you know it's not just for camping it's just so adorable okay so there's our pieces there then you do the same thing so on this one and I think this right here was my favorite inside of all of them and it almost looks like um, like this is where like the, the firefly goes, but it looks almost like the camera lens, you know, how, like when you have, um, you know, you're doing a video and then the, you get, um, shiny stuff, you know, you try not to have that, you know, when you do your videos, cause it's, it's blinding Why I use this right here. So it doesn't reflect. I'm trying to find out the word it reflects, but this, that's what that looks like, but really it's printed right on the card. And then that's where you are going to stamp your cute little fireflies. Now, it calls for it to be in the garden green because that's the spot that came with it. But I'm going to use the Bermuda Bay. So it comes with two little fireflies. So we have a little baby one. And I'm going to put a little baby one here. Oh, no, that's the big one. And then there's a little baby one. And then I'm going to take the little tiny baby one. And that one goes there. So super cute. And then this one was pretty simple. So it has let your light shine. I love that. But what I do want to do is I want to take. And I'm going to put a dragonfly. Not a dragonfly. A firefly on the top and the bottom as well. So this has got the little fireflies on there too, so it's not plain. And then I'm gonna do the same thing as I did the other one. So I had this, I don't wanna put my um, dimensionals in the wrong spot on my circle. So I'm gonna put my dimensionals on the card and then I don't have to worry that they're in the wrong spot so that they hold your card closed. All right, so peel those off. I love that. Let your light shine. Isn't that a nice saying? I love that. All right, so here we go. Light your, let your light shine. Cute. Now I also want to take some Wink of Stella, and I'm going to put just a little bit of Wink of Stella on my lantern so it looks like it's shining. It's kind of hard to see, but now it sparkles. 
and a little bit in their wings. I don't want to get too close to the Bermuda and smear it. So I'm barely putting any on their top wing. It's hard to show on the camera, but whoever gets the card will be able to see it. So there's that one. And then you're gonna do the same thing. You have these cute little sequins and we're just going to plop a few around the card. One, two, three, four, oop, dropped it. Four, and I'm gonna put one right, where do I, I wanna put it right here. So it looks like the center of that flame. All right, now this one I don't have anything on the inside. I'll show you the other cards that I did um, before and I did put stuff on the inside so I haven't decided yet on this one so it's just gonna be plain right now but oh I love that paper oh my gosh I love 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 it so there's that one all right so that was two all right so let me clean up my mess here a little bit so I'm not gonna get my arm in the ink pads and then I will show you the other cards hang on I love when we have like, um, cause I would consider these like a fun fold, right? Anytime you have a card that just doesn't go like this, I consider that like a fun fold. All right, so that's what these are. Okay, all right, clean that mess up. All right, so these are the two I just did. Da 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 da, one two, and two. So I just finished this one. Didn't do too much difference with those. All right, so let me see my little stack here. So this one is pretty similar to, I didn't do much different with that one. I didn't put the little um, fireflies on it. And then there's also a trailer. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to see the trailer. A couple years ago, we had a stamp set that had a very similar trailer. So this one is exactly like it said to do. I didn't do anything um, different to this one. I did um, do the different greeting because I found that the Let the Adventure Begins was so small for the banner and this one filled the banner more. So I, I just changed that. And then you open it up. So again, I haven't done anything um, to the inside of that one because that one is made just like it said i followed the rules all right hang on here all right so this was also yes yeah, so this one i followed the rules too and i think i did a different greeting no i did the same one all right so i followed the rules on that one as well all right and then i started having a little bit of fun so this one i did my dragonflies with the memento and I added a little bit of color to them so that they have like actual like yellow wings to them. And I don't think I put anything on the inside of that one yet. Nope. So that one's very similar, just the difference in the um, fireflies. Let's see, let's see. Did I do anything different with that one? No, because they were so cute. I didn't want to mess with them. Okay, now this, uh, this, the Adventure Begins Paper Pumpkin Screamed Shaker Cards. Like as soon as I open them up and anytime there's a hole in a card, I'm like, okay, it's gotta be a shaker card. So that's what I did with this one. So we have The World Awaits You and I just made it a shaker card. The inside says, let your light shine. And this is what I was talking about. This is just actually a piece of an envelope so that the inside matches the outside, right? So you've got these colors and the little um, white, you know, things going on. So the inside matches. Now these little shaker doohickeys came from, oh, don't let me forget. Don't let me forget. So remember I told you about the refills? Do you have to be a paper pumpkin? I know like squirrel, I'm like going like totally like out of the order here. But don't forget if you want the hope box which will be nine cards and coordinating envelopes and Shelly actually, um, created it you have to subscribe before august the 10th if you do after august the 10th then you won't get this one all right so now i can i printed that so i didn't forget 
to tell. And then I was going to forget. Okay, so back to this. All right, so these little sequins that you see in here, they are super fun. These are the Subtle Shimmer Sequins, and they are in the Holiday Catalog. And I love them. There's no holes in them. I love when sequins don't have holes because then they can be used for so many things. All right. So that's what I did with that one. Made it super fun. All right. Let's see. I told you they screamed shaker card. So I even did this one as a shaker card. I love that. So I did a little bit of the Winka Stella on here too. I put the little dragon or the um, firefly. So here's another piece of the envelope. Dream big, aim high. Isn't that font so cute? Now these um, shaker card things are from the From My Heart Faceted Gems. And these are in the main catalog. And they might look familiar because we did have them like last year or the year before. So I like that they came back. They are super fun. So I stuck those in there just because it just... Get, I love that little pop of red in there. So there's that one. All right. And then I did another shaker card. So I did a shaker card with each different one. I just did them a little bit differently. So here is this one here that I just trimmed. And I went, congrats, dream big, aim high. So wouldn't that be cute for like a graduation or somebody got a new trailer or something? But I loved the paper and I just trimmed it down a little smaller put the window sheet on the back of this one. And then I used these right here. These are the strips, the adhesive strips. And that's what I use um, when I do the shaker cards because you get like a long, long strip of it. Did I use the clear envelope? No, Bonnie, I actually used a window sheet. So it's actually like a real window sheet. It's not the fake shaker cards that we use um, when we do the clear envelope. So thank you for asking that. But I did use window sheets. They're heftier and, um, and more like they're stronger, right? Because you can like, you can feel that. So anyways, but they are so fun. It's cute little shaker cards. All right, so there's that one. Oh, and then these ones, let me show you because I have those separated. So I don't have the package for these because I separated them by color. And these are some old um, jam jars or something or honey or something. I don't even know what that is. But anyway, so you know me and my little jars. So they actually are in the big catalog and they are these right here. So sequins for everything. So you have green, metallic, orange, and red. So that is the... Um, the ones that I used for here, and I picked the orange. I picked two different ones. I did the red and the orange, and I, I thought that looked cool too, right? It kind of thought made me think of like um, leaves following, like you know, in the fall. So that's what that one made me think of. All right. Now this one looks like a shaker card, but it is not. Like it, it does not have a window sheet, so it's just the way it is and then this one I used a bunch of different things all right so there's your inside let your light shine so what I did was I put so that's the same um from my heart faceted gems I stuck them on so it looked like Christmas trees this right here I used one of these and these are of the gilded gems because it made it look kind of like a hub cap I just had so much fun going through my embellishments. All right, now these are new this year. So hang on, let me pull the catalog. Again, I've got them in a container. That's not what they come in. So these are the round and square brads. So the embellishments are on page 142 and 143. So that's where those come from. And I put it on the door. So it looks like it has like a door handle. These are the, oh, I need to put one here and all my excitement. All right, those ones are the shaker shapes and that's these here. Again, they're in a different container. That's why I have to show you from the catalog. So these are the shaker shapes for the stars. And I just used like a green tip glue 
because I'll have to do that. So I'm going to do that right now before I forget because I can see where it was and I got fiddle farting around. So let me put one before I forget. Come on, glue. Maybe I won't. Nope, because my glue's being a turd. All right, I just know I need to put one there. All right, so isn't that cool? Now here, I also put these because it made me think of what are those um streamline or some a stream or something like that trailers so i just wanted to make it look like these were like the rivets that were on the top and these are the metallic pearls so they come gold and silver and then i just made it be silver so it looks like um the rivets on the trailer it just made the trailer kind of come to life a little bit more what else did I do? I also colored in the um, trailer oh, light. Oh, I didn't point that out here too. I did the same thing here. So it makes it look like somebody's home, right? So I just used my blends and colored the window. I put a little bit of Wink Stella on there so it looks like the glass. I think that's all I did to that one. I did trim this a little smaller so that you see the border. You see this paper behind. And I loved how that looked. So when I trimmed the paper, it was easier to trim um, before you pull that piece of paper out. Because when you're trimming, it's pretty um, delicate, you know, because um, that hole is there. So if you're going to do any um, making it smaller, like for the window sheets, leave that piece in there before you pop it out so that it's more stable. And I think this might have been my favorite. All right, so this one is The World Awaits You. I did the same thing, but this time the window, I just used the pool party. So it's, um, the there, there's someone home, but they don't have the light on. And then um, I used the tree that actually went with the um, round one because I didn't, I didn't um, use it on something else. So this is the tree. I just trimmed this a little smaller so I could move it off to the side a little bit. Otherwise, it was covering my window and I didn't want it to cover my window. I also put that little um, gilded gem again. I used a die so it looks like this, the sun or the moon is showing. It just says, let your light shine. And then it opens up like this. So it's one of those fun like multi-fold cards. So it's going to actually like stand like this, right? So when it when a person gets it, it's going to stand like that. It's kind of hard for me to show it on, on the screen. But so anyway, so you open it up like that. So you have your dream big, aim high. And there is that awesome tree that I was telling you about. I love that tree. So you have a saying there, dream big, aim high. But then it also opens up like this. So then let the adventure begin. And I put the little, um, whatever. I keep calling the firefly right there. So that that's a fun card. So actually it, it goes like this, but it's just hard to, it's just hard to show on the um, camera. But so that was what I did. The paper pumpkin stuff. So what is your favorite? I, I like them all, but I love, I, I'm, I forget it. It's just, it's an awesome card to, um, to sit on, on your, um, mantle, right? Because it's just so, so, so fun. And you can see, I do believe I have, let me see, hold on a minute. I think I have this video. So this this is also that same car, but it using this the um, ice cream set, but it's the same fold. So I think that's the one that I have a video. So what I'll do is I will um, try to find it and link it. If not, if I haven't done one, I, I will, right? Because it is just, I just love, I just love that. I don't even know what that fold is. It's, it's a Dana fold because <laughs> Dana sent me a card Dana Mosley forever ago and it was that fold so it's a Dana fold but I don't know what it's called so anyways but um I'm glad Bonnie so they are fun it's just 
They're just so, so cute. So yeah, just add a little, um, little bit of your um, Stampin' Blends to the trailer. You can use them on more than I did. And like I said, the 26th of July, if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, that's when they will release, I guess the word would be, if they have any refill kits left. And sometimes they don't. Sometimes they don't. Um, so just watch that. And I think that's all I have to share with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you back on Friday, um, 3 o'clock, Arizona time. Same channel. And it will be my dyes shorts. Okay? So um, have fun with your paper pumpkin. I hope you got it already. Mine didn't come till yesterday. So I could not wait to play with it. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. And um, have a great night. And I will um, see you Friday. All right. Oh, do you know how much? Oh. Um, I don't. I want to say... I don't even want to guess. I don't even want to guess because I usually don't grab the refill. Um, so I'm sorry. I, I'll try to find out and post it. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Um. So much for um joining me. And see you later. Bye for now.